our goal is to broaden the access to the, the public airwaves. And if we can do that, then, then I think that's what will define what we are. <laughs> Vocalo.org. One of the newest concepts in modern sounds. No, no, yeah, we're putting you in a position to explain yourself. Well, see the radio. Be the radio. Vocalo.org. In a corner store in uh, Camel Wood. We just have to find it. Which is none. This is part one. The sound of the station is going to be, it is, um, it's unusual, it's a, it's a new format. The idea behind the project is to take the voice of the little dog and get the little dog to be able to compete with the big dog of broadcasters. Well, that little dog now has a name and it goes by Vocalo. A combination of the words vocal and zocalo, the Spanish word meaning public square. Created after the folks at Chicago Public Radio conducted research into who, and more importantly, who wasn't listening to their programming, vocalo was formed as a way to bring more diversity and access to the public airways. We looked at our audiences and found that while we served an enormous number of people, over 500,000 people per week here in the Chicago region, um, it had a definite homogeneous sort of demographic. I mean, you know, white, um, upper middle class, um, North Shore primarily. And there was a large segment of the population here in the Chicago region that we weren't reaching. And public radio stations across the country are trying to explore how to reach younger audiences, how to reach more diverse audiences. So that that research informed us that we needed to try something different. At the same time this research was being conducted, the FCC granted Chicago Public Radio approval to expand the signal coverage of their repeater station in Chesterton, Indiana, giving them the ability to offer two different, distinct services for the first time. Those two events, coupled with the emergence of social networking and content sharing websites, helped give birth to a whole new idea on how to connect people with media. If it we're truly doing public radio, then let's make it extremely public radio. You know, let's get the public in the booth all the time for every broadcast. On the air for just over a year now, Vocalo has evolved into something more than just a radio station. It's become a virtual community where users are empowered and encouraged to generate the content that will fill the majority of its playtime. So, uh, there I was, watching VH1, as I am wont to do. Uh, I have become addicted to the show I Love Money because I am a masochist and I hate myself. And uh, so, during the course of hating myself because I'm watching this tribe, I, I realized that I could have it worse. I could be addicted to uh, that Brooke Hogan show. The meat of the program is two things. One is the, the uh, debate. If you can get facilitate debate, smoking. The other is the personal narrative. If you can get a strong personal narrative, something where some, something happens, somebody's changed. I mean, a real narrative. A lot of things aren't real narratives, and they're, they're not compelling. They don't keep you in your seat. These debates and narratives would then be strung together into a seamless flow, moderated by teams of host producers. They're responsible for generating content and figuring out a way to incorporate it, along with the user-generated content that comes in through the website, into what Lloyd King likes to call production on the fly. Not only are there no shows, so it's seamless, but um, we um, are heavy on the jump cuts, the jump cuts, because it's almost like the rest of radio denies that MTV ever happened. That Sesame Street ever happened. I mean, come on, you know, let's get with it. Sesame Street had it right in terms of, even though they weren't showing you commercials, they would have like a commercial for the number one. You know, for the letter L or something like that, and then they'd move on to their story or something like that. L, 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 you ring my bell. And I think that's the way Vocalo kind of works. We don't really actually have commercials, so to speak, but short little bits mixed with long little bits and segue music to go in between them. Back at the Humble Park Satellite Studio, doing my Humble Park specific show. 
sitting next to me is John Roser, the owner of Roser's Bakery. You've been in the community since 1911. Tell us how Roser's Bakery came to be. So that's stylistically rare on radio. To get an idea of how all of this works, we paid a visit to the Vocalo.org studios on Navy Pier and sat in on their morning show where I had a chance to ask a few questions and find out what this new style of radio actually sounds like. Special guest here in the studio, Katie Kioski. That's hot, man. That's, that's, uh, that's a good business. So you are the host of Chicago Reveals. That's correct. So what, what questions do you have for us here at Vocalo.org? Well, you know, I want to talk to you guys. I mean, how has this experience been for you? I mean, a year ago, the station didn't exist, and here you are. How, how is it going for you? It's been uh, scary. <laughs> I uh, walked in here knowing nothing about media, and, um, and I almost cried the first year of work because I had felt... It'd been a long time since I felt as stupid as I did on that day because I knew nothing, and a lot of people around me seemed to know a lot of things. But, uh, but I work with wonderful people who taught me lots of great things, and it's an opportunity to give a voice to people and things that do not typically have a voice, um, and not because they don't want to use that voice or because they wouldn't want an opportunity to use it, but because it's just not given to them. One of the nice things that we're doing here is that um, I think there tends to be kind of a formality a lot of times in the media, like we are the media and we're going to tell you how it is. So we're sort of setting up something that's a lot more informal, where anybody can participate. It's in Chicago, it's also in Northwest Indiana, so it's there's an informality to it that we hope makes everybody feel invited to participate. It knows you don't need to be an expert, but in this case, you can be anybody. Well, I'm, I'm wondering what the future of Vocalo is. And I would say the future of Vocalo.org is pretty much to compete with, uh, number one, first and foremost, other radio stations within our, within our area. And to give folk a different outlet to uh, hear quality media and hear their voices and hear music and things that they wouldn't normally hear on mainstream media. That's the point. That's the uh, end-all, be-all of it, and to really grow on all facets of multimedia. So hopefully there'll be Vocalo on the iPhones, Vocalo on the iPods, Vocalo on, you know, Fancy Pants, Mission Impossible watches, you know. We, we also want to, you know, we notice that most radio stations have a certain demographic. So one of the things we're trying to do is create a station where all different people listen, so that different people are exposed to how other people live. You know, and find out that we're all really the same. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're different too, but you know what when I mean? You, we want a station that's like more, uh, that everybody could come to. Right, because today you really can't tell what this is. You really can't tell we're a little country and a little rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little country. And a little vocalo. Vocalo.org. Although the importance of a medium like this is obvious, the future of this form of radio remains uncertain. As with most things new and different, it takes time to catch on, and this is no different. But the folks at Vocalo.org are definitely up to the challenge, and they hope that you are too. I would love to get to a point where at any time that you tune in to Vocalo.org, that signature sound clues you in that that's what you're hearing. You know, even if you weren't looking at the number on the dial, you would hear it and you would know that that's what you're listening to. For me, it's eminently listenable and it's getting better and better every day. So yeah, if we can just, you know, be somebody who's up there competing in, in, to some degree, Hey, more power to us.